But go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just thought you yeah. one more. Uh, I wonder how much of the population there. of the world they would they would say is actually descended from Abraham because it sounds like it's becoming a pretty large amount of the planet. That's what I say sometimes to some of them. And uh, they'll sometimes say, well, uh, you know, white people have a genetic defect. You guys are the minority. They start sounding like Nation of Islam members sometimes at that point. Or they'll say, uh, hey, well, uh, sand of the sea, stars of the sky, uh-huh. you know. I'm still so curious right. what percentage they put on it, but, right. <laughs> but at any rate. Sometimes um, I ask, I, I'll ask what percentage of the curses do you have to experience to be an Israelite? Like. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopefully elect tabernacle of David that is scattered abroad. And uh, you just heard this guy, uh, Mike Winger, Mike Swinger. <laughs> You know, he's pretty much uh, discussing with Haman Malone, you know, how, uh, you know, we teach that, you know, there's uh, Israelites all over the world. And he wonders, you know, how much of the population do we believe are Israelites? And, um, you know, us, we go according to the spirit, you know, we know um, that Israel cannot be numbered. That's for sure. Um, going back to when the Lord blessed Abraham, you know, he said, you know, and that's why, uh, vocab, you know, tried to quote it, you know, you quoting it, you know, saying that that's what we would say. That doesn't mean that it doesn't negate that it is a fact that Israel is a, a great multitude. It, it's, it's so many Israelites out there. All right, this is why in the end days, the Lord will have to sift the house of Israel from among all nations because Israel is as a sand to sea that cannot be measured nor numbered. You know that scripture. And I believe the elder apostle Tahar was just going into that uh, yesterday. All right. So, and, and, and I'm pretty sure he refused to go into that, that scripture in uh, Hosea 1. Well, I mean, that, that, that goes back to one of the promises the Lord made with uh, Abraham. Let's go to uh, when he first blesses Abraham and, and, and tells him that, you know, his seed is going to be a great multitude. This is uh, Genesis 13. Let me jump down. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, and Abram, you know, Abraham, which means exalted uh, father, it says, dwelled in the land of Canaan, you know, which was uh, the promised land. And Lot dwelled in the cities of plain and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that Lot was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes. And look from the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward. And you know, basically look all around you as far as your eyes can see. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. You know, this is a promise. Right? And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. So that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Now question, can you number the sand of the sea vocab? Mike Swinger, you, can you number the, uh, the dust of the earth? This is a promise unless y'all saying that the Lord is a liar. And we know that this same promise is. It was bestowed upon his son and his son's son, his seed and his seed seed. Um, it was told to his his great his um his grandniece, all right, um, Rebecca. It was said to her that she would become the mother of thousands of millions, thousands of myriads 
of people. Let's get that real quick. All right. And this is the, the, the mother. All right. That. She went on to have twins. Jacob and Esau, right? Which one of them was. The chosen one, just like Isaac was the chosen. So let's go to uh, Genesis 24 and uh, verse 60. And it says, I'll start at verse. Uh, yeah, I'll start at verse 54 and it says, and they and they did eat and drink. He and the men that were with them and tarried all night and they rose up in the morning and he said, send me away unto my master, you know, to uh, Laban, right? Jacob's um, uncle, or I like you, uh, Isaac, Isaac's uh, uncle. It says, and her brother and her mother said, let the damsel abide with us a few days at the 10, at the least 10. After that, she shall go. And he said unto them. Hinder me not, saying, it's like you're seeing the Lord have prospered my way. Send me a way that I may go to my master. And they said, we will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister and her nurse and Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister. Be thou the mother of thousands of millions. And let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. So she's going to become the mother of thousands of millions. All right, myriads. So that's a that's a that's a innumerable multitude. So yeah, it, it, it's a lot of us all over the all over the planet. All right, and there's there's no way of really detecting who's an Israelite unless you know the spirit is upon you. But for the most part, there's going to be so many of us that we're going to have to be sifted. The angels know who is who, but Israel cannot be numbered. We're 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 scattered among the nations, and we've even intermingled with them. We've you know, the, the, the men of Israel didn't put their seed in foreign women. You know, then had marriages with, with, with non-Israelite women. Their seed coming out looking or taking on the features of, you know, the mothers. Or speaking the language of their mothers. That's even happened in Israel, even though Israel was rebuked for it. Do you think Israel stopped doing that? Let me see if I can uh, find, I believe it was in Nahum, where you had uh, Israelites who were, you know, products of, uh, you know, marriages of heathen women. And they was taking on their, their religion and, and, and speaking their language. So you got Israelites that, that speak different tongues, depending on where they were uh, scattered and where they live. And that also determines, you know, the, the, the gods and idols that they serve. All right. So you got the Israelites that don't know that they Israelites, but they're in a foreign land, speaking a different language and worshiping a foreign God. All right. And this is why this word is being broadcasted worldwide. And some Israelites are going to come out of that. All right. But this is the history. All right. Which Israel to this day, <laughs> they ain't stopped doing this. All right. Wherever they may be uh, scattered at. All right, because part of the curse was that we would be scattered from one of the earth to the other. We would be uh, mingled among all people, all nations, serving um, foreign gods, you know, wood or stone. Right. So this is uh, uh, Nehemiah 13 and 23. It says, in those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon and of Moab. Right. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. All right. So 
You don't you, you don't think we have this same dynamic to this very day? All right. So, yeah, we it, there's so many of us that you know, they'll grow up thinking that they're uh you know, one particular uh, a lot of Jake you know, they figure because of what their mother is or they'll say, well, I'm half this, I'm half that, or I'm this percentage of this, and I'm this percentage of that. But you, we know according to the scriptures that um, your your nationality is determined by your father, who your father is. Okay? Your pedigree is after the house of your fathers. A lot of our people, don't, they don't know that growing up. They'll just say, I'm biracial, I'm, I'm you know, or I'm, I'm mixed breed. I'm half and half. And so they don't know. So when they, um, you know, put on their job application or, you know, if they uh, join the, the consensus, they just going to put what they were taught they were. You got a lot of the northern tribes. I think that they, they identify as uh, white. Knowing damn well they ain't even white, man. Some of them actually are. Some of them are Spaniards. They're, some of them are tares. The descendants of the conquistadors, but then you got the ones that are straight up uh, of the northern tribes, because they they didn't mix themselves among the people. It tells you that about Ephraim, that they didn't mix themselves become they didn't mix themselves among the people. They're a cake not a uh, turn. So you got some that are you know light, you know they got the 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 lighter complexion, they got the you know thinner hair, you know look more European looking, and then you have you know, the ones with the kinkier hair with, you know, the, the, uh, more melanin. But all but but they're all of the, the, the same uh, tribe. But it's like that amongst all the tribes, man. It tells you that in uh, Jeremiah that the heritage is as a speckled bird. You come in many colors. Many uh, genetic variations, even though we come from the same seed. Because Israel has been scattered, man. All right. And then even when you um let me see real quick. Just among Ephraim and Manessa alone, it, it was even said that they would even be a, a, a great multitude. And we know the word Ephraim means fruitful. Thou shall be a fruitful bow, you know. It's a lot of uh Tainos out there all over. Some of them are even on the other side of the world. You know the history. Uh, Genesis 48 and. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Genesis 48. And. Uh. 14 and it says and Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head who was the younger and left his left hand upon Manasseh's head guiding his hands wittingly for Manasseh was the firstborn and he blessed Joseph and said the Most High, before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk the Most High, which fed me all my life long unto this day the angel which redeemed me from all evil blessed the lads and let my name be named on them and in the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac. You know, so bestowing the blessing that was on Abraham and Isaac onto uh, his sons, Jacob's. All right. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. So big that they're going to be all over. A lot of people will say, well, how could uh, that great of a multitude of people be contained into, you know, that one piece of land, you know, the land of uh, Israel? Well, that's why there's always been uh, strangers, foreigners. Not all Israel always dwelt in the land of Israel. Israel was sojourning in other uh, lands. That's how many of us it was. You had Jews living everywhere. Migrating to, uh, you know, other places, living all up in Asia. Even during the diaspora, we was we was everywhere. 
And not all of Israel was uh, living in these other uh, foreign lands because of captivity. Some of them just migrated away. Jake do that. Okay. It says, uh, and when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the hand of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. We know that the you know the tradition is for the uh, the eldest, you know to 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 receive, you know that 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 birthright, you know the heir, all right. But you know the Lord had it to where it was it was going to be on Ephraim, all right. It says, and Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people. And he also shall be great. But truly his younger brother shall be greater than he. And his seed shall become a multitude of nations. So he's going to have a, a multi, just in Ephraim alone. It's going to be a multitude of nations. Now, I wonder if that's twofold. You know, is there going to be multiple tribes of uh, the Ephraimites? Is that how large they are? Or could it also mean that, um, you know, Ephraim be becoming the uh, the head of the northern tribes? And we know that there's, uh, uh, you know, 10, you know, really nine. But, you know, they're, they're always referred to as the 10 tribes. And we know that each tribe is a nation. All right. It says that a nation and a company of nations shall be of thy loins. You know, so each tribe of Israel is a nation within itself. That's huge. So, yeah, you you don't know, you know, just given that fact all over the world who's an Israelite. That's why, you know, we, we, we go according to the spirit. The spirit have to bear witness with your spirit that you are a, a, a child of the most high. And one of the sifters is, you know, this, this truth. It tells you that in the book of Baruch that, you know, from the, from the, uh, the west to the east or from the east to the west, that, you know, the sons will be, uh, sifted you know they would be gathered by the word of the holy one so this word right now is is, is is sifting and of course you got the angels that's you know putting that mark in the in the foreheads of, of of the people the ones that the lord is allowing them to open up their their eye their spiritual eye to understand and if they understand this and it's in them then that more than likely that person is an Israelite, regardless of what they look like, regardless of their background. And plus, they would have, you know, certain characteristics, you know, we have a certain rhythm, we have a certain move. You know, we're 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 known as the salt of the earth. All right, we're special people, so we have certain abilities. You wonder why there's a, you know, there's uh, you know, like for example, Michael uh, Mc, uh, not Michael, well, yeah, Michael McDonald's one, but uh, Bobby Caldwell, the one who, uh, the singer that just passed. A lot of people, if you, if you back then, if you didn't see his face, you would have thought he was a Jake, a brother, man. He had that 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 strong, you know, voice like a brother, man. And he and and he can he can blow. And we believe that he he might have been a Jake. You know, so you got examples out there. OK, you it, it's, it's, uh, a lot of uh, people who you think might be uh, either might just solely on appearance, but they father line goes back to uh, the people on the on the sign. All right, Jennifer uh, Bill, you know, uh, the, the the chick that was in a uh, um, the book of Eli, she looked like an Edomite woman, but she's a, a Jake. So anyway, um, yeah, that that that's the point. Now, even when you go to 
Revelation, when it talks about the 12,000 out of each tribe, right? You have, uh, you know, 12,000 men out of the 12 tribes that it, it, it lists. And then after that, Revelation 7 and 9, which a lot of these Christians make the mistake of thinking that the these people that's going to come out of, uh, you know, the, all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues, that these are talking about non-Israelites. So you're going to have 144,000 chosen Israelites and then the rest of the people that come out of the tribulation, those are all heathens. Edomites, Moabites, Hamites, Ishmaelites, Elamites. But that's not what that's talking about. This, this is further proof that Israel is all over. Remember the, the Feast of Pentecost. That there was devout Jews out of every nation under, under heaven. And they all was able to speak multiple. They, 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 they all spoke the languages of the lands that they were native to. They didn't all speak Galilean. They didn't speak uh, Hebrew. But these were all Israelites. So imagine to this day, after all the scattering, all the captivities, all the, um, you know, uh, intermarrying or what they call today interracial marrying. You have a lot of products of that. Who's who, who, who's the uh, descendant of, of, of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Which the blessing was bestowed upon Abraham that they that <laughs> it would be so many of them. Whether they coming from the seed of an Israelite woman or, or a non-Israelite woman. Revelation 7 and 9. And this and this I beheld. And this is after the 144,000. Right? Because uh, they're not going to make the mistake of numbering 144,000 and then turn around and say, oh, they, they're, they're, they, they're, they can't be numbered. No man can number them. So this is uh, the separate number of Israelites that's going to be uh, uh, delivered out of the tribulation aside from the 144,000, which is the governing body. All right, verse 9, it says, After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God, which is possessive because these are those people. These people that would come out of these nations, kindreds, people and tongues, languages, these were all Israelites. Because they're going to be scattered among all nations. So they're going to be coming from out of all nations. All right. And, and kindreds and, and, and people. We will be scattered from uh, among all people. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And tongues. I just showed an example of, you know, Jake in the history. Speaking uh the other languages. You see? So this, this is just, uh, you know, another example, man. And let me get a scripture in the Apocrypha. Let's go to 2nd Edges 3. 2nd yeah, Edges 3 and verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, and it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply and had gotten them many children, and were a great people, they begin again to be more ungodly than the first. Now, when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was Abraham, which means a father of a multitude, right? Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showedest thy will, and madest a everlasting covenant with him, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. All right? Which, uh, you know, vocab, you know, he he uh, ascribes to a doctrine that teaches that the Lord replaced his seed with heathens. As long as they turn Christian and they believe on the white meat. All right. Their Jesus, that they can be saved, they can receive the promise, they can be under come up under the uh, the new covenant. 
you know, and like the Lord just forsook, you know, his, his, his seed, the literal seed, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Replacement theology is what is uh, called or successionalism. But uh, the Lord, he, 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 he would never do that. He made an uh, everlasting covenant with them. So that's, that's totally wrong. It says, and unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee and put by Esau, meaning he, he rejected Esau and chose Jacob. You could read uh, Romans 9. Uh, Paul broke that down. You know, it was based on the election. It was, it, it was all predestinated for it to go that way. And so Jacob became a great multitude. All right. So, I mean, I don't I don't see the point in scoffing at the idea that, you know, we say we suggest that there's a lot of Israelites out there all over the world. But in, in due time, you know, it'll be known. I mean, vocab, he trembles at the fact that there's a growing number of us coming back to who we are anyway. He always going to the studies of, you know, the, the number of Israelites that agree, you know, with the doctrine, the teaching uh, of the Israelites. They're concerned. You know, because the Lord is putting that breath back into us. It, Israel, who is dead spiritually, has or, or it, it, been revived. Because the spirit of life is entering into us. All right, standing upon our feet as a great army. So, yeah, we're all over the world, man. Camps everywhere. Israelites in the Philippines. You got an Israelite in the Philippines teaching in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. We got Israelites everywhere, man. Places that we, we probably don't even know about that watches us. And they're identifying and we can't reject them solely on uh, appearance. But if you're carnal, you can't receive the things of the spirit because they're, you know, they're, it's, it's foolish to you. You're not spiritually discerned. But anyway, um, you know, I just want to uh, add to that, man. All right, and Lord willing, this was edifying. Call Lord, y'all, Shai, Shalom.